Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a zipper installation. This is great for side pockets, lining in your purses. Um, you can really just put pockets everywhere. So if you're interested, then stick around. Okay, so for this project you're going to need an erasable pen, maybe some double-sided tape, and some sharp scissors. When you're working with your fabric, you're going to be using your main fabric on the bottom, and then you will put your lining fabric right sides down. So I have some blue fabric. It has no right or wrong side, so um, I can't really show you in this instance, but just remember that if you do have a printed fabric, then have the right sides facing down. Then you're going to, of course, pick your zipper and I'm using an eight inch zipper. So I'm going to draw an eight inch line about actually an eight and a half inch line down where I want my zipper to be. And then I'm going to draw another eight inch line beside that. That is about three eighths of an inch away. If you have larger teeth zipper, then you're going to make this rectangle a little bit wider. But for a regular nylon zipper, this is a perfect measurement. And then we'll draw two little triangles on the sides, just like this. And then we will connect the tips of those triangles with one line. And the triangle and this line are just guides. You will not sew on those. You will just sew all around the rectangle. So take that to your sewing machine. Do a nice tight stitch and then when you get to your corners you're going to lift your presser foot pivot your fabric and then continue on so do that for all four sides and then you can take it out of your sewing machine so after that then you're going to go get your sharp scissors or your rotary cutter whatever you feel comfortable using I just like to slice down that line first with my rotary cutter and then I'll take my scissors and cut the little triangle parts. Um, you're going to get really close to those stitches, as close as you can get, but try not to actually snip the stitches, of course. So after you've done that, you're going to take your lining fabric and you're going to push that through the opening. This is going to be a little bit tricky and will take some finessing, but eventually it will all iron out nicely. Um, I did make this zipper a little too close to the side, so the one side didn't come out as nicely as I would like. So when you do make this yourself, then make sure you have a good amount of space on either side of your zipper. So now I'm just going to iron and make sure those edges are nice and crisp. And then we can start the actual zipper installation. So for this, I will use some double-sided tape. This is literally the only time I ever use double-sided tape. You could pin it, maybe even put um, a dab of, you know, a glue stick to help you, but the double-sided tape is just super easy. So I will put some of that on the back and then I will place my zipper and then I don't have to worry about it shifting, especially because you, want those teeth to be perfectly centered in that rectangle otherwise it won't look as good so I'm just putting on my double-sided tape and then I peel off the little paper and then I'll flip it back over and then place my zipper underneath so I'm just going to bring the zipper down a little bit and then I'll push the teeth at the end closer together so it's all nice and even. And then after that, you're going to sew all the way around this box. I use a longer stitch just so it gives it a nice top stitch. If you want to use matching thread, you can, or you can use contrasting thread, make it a little bit more visually appealing. So of course, just like we did last time, make sure you lift your presser foot and pivot your fabric to make sure you have a nice crisp line of stitching especially because this will be visible on the outside of your bag if that's where you're putting it. And then after that, 
You can make this all in one if you wanted to, or you can take another piece of fabric the same size as this square and then just sew it onto the back to make the pocket from your zipper. But if not, you can take the bottom of your lining and fold it up and then sew along three sides. So if you're gonna do that, then make this lining a lot longer than I did. And then you're just going to lift the lining away from your main fabric and then just sew along the three sides of your pocket. And don't worry about the raw edges because that'll be hidden inside of your bag. And then that's it. You open up your zipper and then you have a perfect little pocket. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All those links will be down below. If you do do this project and make it into something, I would love to see what you added to. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.